Let's talk about reversing the order of integration. Sometimes when evaluating a double integral, we need to reverse the order of integration. Go from an integral of f dy dx to an integral of f dx dy, or vice versa. And we do this if we can't perform the first integration. Here's an example. Find the integral from 0 to 6, y over 6 to 1, of e to the x squared dx dy. We can't perform the first integration because we can't integrate x e to the x squared with respect to x. This is impossible. We never really do learn a way to evaluate or to exactly evaluate something like that. Okay, so what we do when we reverse the order of integration is first sketch the region in the xy plane we are integrating over. Okay, so here's our integral. This, uh, this graph is from Desmos. I highly recommend that. Excellent website x goes from y over 6 to 1. Okay, so this is the graph of x equals y over 6. In other words, y equals 6x. You could write it that way. Uh, this is the graph as x goes from y over 6 to 1 and as y goes from 0 to 6. Okay, that's the region we're integrating over in the xy plane. So when we reverse the order of integration, the limits of integration will be different, uh, but and the, the integrand is the same. It's still e to the x squared but we reverse it, so now it's dy dx. And now let's just figure out what that stuff is. Again, here's the region we're integrating over in the xy plane. Notice that y is going to go from y equals 0 to y equals 6x, and then x simply goes from 0 to 1. So those are new limits of integration. We took an integral that was dx dy, rewrote the limits of integration, and came up with an integral that was dy dx. And the reason we did that is so that we could evaluate the integral. Okay, so here's our new integral. When we integrate with respect to y, notice what we get, y e to the x squared. Hey, we can do that. We can integrate e to the x squared with respect to y. That's just y e to the x squared, as y goes from 0 to 6x. Okay, so plug in 6x, and we get 6x e to the x squared. Plug in 0, and we get nothing. So now we have an integral from 0 to 1 of 6x e to the x squared dx. We use substitution for this, because whenever we're integrating e to some stuff, uh, unless it's really simple, we use substitution, and we just let u be the stuff. Okay, so in this case, u equals x squared, du is 2x dx. So we can write this as 2x dx. Just take this 6 and write it as 3 times 2 and pull the 3 to the outside. So now we have 3 times the integral from 0 to 1 of 2x e to the x squared dx. Uh, this is now in good shape. So now we've got our 2x dx, that's our du, and this is e to the u. So we have 3 times the integral e to the u du. That's the beauty of substitution. The antiderivative of e to the u is e to the u. I'm my own antiderivative. When we convert that back to x, we get 3 to the x squared as x goes from 0 to 1. So that's going to be 3 e to the 1 times minus 3 e to the 0. Well, 3 e to the 0 is just plain 3. So our answer is 3 e to the 1 minus 3. In other words, just 3e e minus 3.